Good day everyone, I am Julia Aaron L. Salas from BSID IT11 and today we are going to discuss about Lesson 10, A Relation as a Subset. Welcome to the wonderful world of a relation as a subset. Today, we will discuss about relation as a subset, examples, and applications. First, what is your understanding of the word relation? Relation is the way in two or more concepts, objects, or people are connected. A thing's effect on or relevance to another. It is also an aspect or quality such as resemblance that connects two or more things or parts as being or belonging or working together or as being of the same kind. What is relation in math? In math, a relation defines the relationship between sets of values of ordered pairs. The set of elements in the first set are called domain, which is related to the set of the element in another set, which is called range. It is a subset of the Cartesian product, or simply a bunch of points or ordered pairs. In other words, the relation between the two sets is defined as the collection of the ordered pair, in which the ordered pair is formed by the object from each set. For example, set A is equals to negative 2 and 1, 4 and 3, 7 and negative 3, usually written in set notation form with curly brackets. How about the word subset? A subset, as the name suggests, is a subcollection of any set. Let us assume we have two sets, X and Y. Mathematically speaking, X will be a subset of Y if and only if all the elements of X are present in Y. We can also say that X is contained in Y. This relationship is called inclusion or containment of X in Y. A subset can be classified as follows. First is proper subset and second is improper subset. Let's solve some examples of a subset. Determine whether A is a subset of B in the following. Number 1. Set A is equals to set of all even numbers and set B is, e is equals to set of whole numbers. Number 2. Set A is equals to 1, 2, and 3, and set B is, is equals to 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Number 3. Set A is equals to all writing equipment at the stationary shop, and set B is equals to pens. Number 4. Set A is equals to sedan, and set B is equals to all cars. So, as a solution, number 1, the set of even numbers is given as set A is equals to 0, 2, 4, 6, and so on. Similarly, the set of whole numbers is given as set B is equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. It is quite clear that the elements of A belong to set B. So, A is a subset of B. Number 2. It is clear from analyzing the two sets A and B that A's elements belong to set B, so A is a subset of B. Number 3. Set A includes pens, pencils, notepads, markers, etc. Whereas, set B only includes pens. So we cannot say that all A's elements are in B, which is a condition for A to be a subset of B. In this case, B is a subset of A, but A is not a subset of B. For number 4, set B includes all types of cars, sedans, hatchbacks, pickup trucks, etc. And A is a set of sedans, so all elements of A are included in B. Therefore, A is a subset of B. So, let's go to our main topic. What is a relation as a subset? A relation as a subset is the partial collection of the set of all possible ordered pairs. For example, set A is equals to 1 and 2, 
and set B is equals to 3 and 4. So basically, a relation as a subset is the set of all possible ordered pairs. It is also a specific subset of the Cartesian product. For example, set A is equals to 1 and 2, and set B is equals to 3 and 4. If we can bind them together, set A and B is equals to 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 2 and 3, and 2 and 4. So what we do here is we distribute the numbers in set A to set B. For example, let set A is equals to 2, 3, 4, and set B is equals to 6, 8, 10, and define a relation R from A to B as follows. For all X and Y is an element of A and B. Here is the condition. X and Y is an element of R means that Y over X is an integer. And here are the questions. Is 4, is 4 related to 6? Is 4 related to 8? Is 3 and 8 an element of R? Is 2 and 10 an element of R? Letter B. Write R as a set of ordered pairs. Letter C. Write the domain and cut domain of R. Letter D, draw an arrow diagram for R. So, here's how we are going to answer it. First, let's write the set of ordered pairs of A and B. Um, we're going to combine set A and set B in a distributing manner. So, A and B is equals to 2 and 6, 2 and 8, 2 and 10. Next is 3 and 6, 3 and 8. Three and ten, and four and six, four and eight, and four and ten. After that, we're going to test if 4 related to 6, 4 related to 8, 3 and 8 is an element of R, and 2 and 10 an element of R. So, he, so here's how we're going to answer it. 3, 4 related to 6, here it is, 4 and 6 an element of R because so based on the condition we're going to answer it like this Y here's our Y 6 and X 4 so the answer is 3 over 2. Is 3 over 2 an integer? No. So that means that it is not an element of R. Next is 4. Is 4 related to 8? So let's write it down. 4, 8. Because... So, 8 and 4 is equals to 2. Is 2 an integer? Yes. So, meaning 4 and 8 is an element of R. Next is, is 3 and 8 an element of R? 
3 and 8. 3 and 8, an element of R. Cos. So, 8 over 3 is equals to. So, 2.6 is 2.67 an integer? No, because it has a decimal. So meaning, 3 and 8 is not an element of R. Next is 2 and 10. 2 and 10, an element of R. Cause, so 10 over 2 is equals to 5. Is 5 an integer? Yes. So meaning 2 and n, 2 and 10 is an element of R. Next is write R as a set of ordered pairs. So just like what we do in A and B, we're just going to replace A and B to R. So R is equals to 2 and 6, 2 and 8, 2 and 10, 3 and 6, 3 and 8, 3 and 10, 4 and 6, 4 and 8, and 4 and 10. For letter C, let's write the domain and the core domain of R. So, the domain is the letter A. So, 2, 3, the core domain of R is 6, 8, and 10. So basically, 2, 3, and 4 came from set A and 6, 8, and 10 came from set B. Arrow diagram, here is our x or the domain and y or call domain so we're just going to connect it so is 2 related to 6 let's try with the condition y over x 6 over 2 is equals to 3 and 3 is an integer so let's draw a line 8 and 2 I uh, 2 and 8 so 8 over 2 is equals to 4 an integer so let's draw a line 8 and 2 is equals to 5 so another line for no Number 3, uh, 6 over 3 is equals to 2. 2 is an integer, so let's draw a line. 8 over 3 is, uh, here it is, so not related to 8. So we're not going to draw a line. 10 over 3, not an integer so not going to draw a line. Four uh, there's no more space so I'm just going to explain it. Six divided by four is not is equal to not an integer so we're not going to draw a line there. 
8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So, 2 is an integer. So, let's draw a line. 8 divided by 4 is equal to not an integer. So, we're not going to draw a line. So, here is our arrow diagram. So, that's it. And that ends our discussion. Again, I am Julia Aaron L. Salas from BSIT IT 11, and today I have discussed about Lesson 10, a relation as a subset. That's all. Thank you.